show you our new uh, hybrid, highly efficient heat pump water heater. Um, we're using a refrigeration circuit to provide domestic hot water uh, through this unique uh, heating appliance, or actually water heating appliance. Um, the system is so energy efficient, you get an energy factor of about 2.3, which per, uh, applies to the uh, federal tax credits. And then you also have a COP, which is which uh, is a coefficient of performance of the system of 2.85. That coefficient of performance means for every watt of energy, you're getting 2.85 out. With a standard electric water heater, you put one watt of energy in and you get one watt of energy out. So this actually almost triples your efficiency by applying this and installing this in your home. Normal payback on these type of uh, uh, units with the federal tax credits, you're looking at about a three year period and less. So it's a, it's a, it's a good investment. Um, it'll provide you highly efficient operation. Um, it has fast recovery. Uh, the unit will supply 60 gallons. It's a 50 gallon tank. Uh, so it'll give you 60 gallons first hour rating. Uh, it's it's eco-friendly. And uh, one of the other things that we've uh, designed inside the tank is we have an electric uh, backup. So just in case the heat pump can't keep up with your demands, we'll turn the electric on for a very short period of time and then we'll satisfy the demand of the living space so you get plenty of hot water. And there's different modes and things on the control that allow various operations to be, be done and uh, have a lot of flexibility with the operation of the heater. on the heat pump are very easy for the homeowner and for the contractor to set up the system. Uh, they provide different options for different efficiencies and they can provide electric backup modes uh, where we can actually heat the tank up very quickly. There's three or there's actually four modes that we have through this mode button. Uh, we can actually do economy mode which just utilizes the heat pump and will allow the heat pump to uh, recover the, the heat in the, from the refrigeration system and absorb that energy into the tank, which is the most efficient mode. We have the auto mode, and what happens there is, is the tanks, if we start to see in a large draw that we're not able to keep up with the heat pump, we'll turn up some electric resistant elements to increase the recovery. And then we have vacation mode, and the vacation mode allows the customer, if they're away, for a week or just away on vacation. They can hit the vacation mode, put the number of days that they're gone. And what it does is it lowers the temperature set point in the tank. And then it actually will increase the temperature the day before they come back, which provides uh, you know extra savings for the homeowner. Um, and then we have standard electric. So if you need to get quicker recovery, uh, you can put it in standard electric mode if you have a lot of people over and you want a higher recovery rate inside the tank. Um, you can do that. So there's four different options, uh, four different methods of operating the tank. Uh, so it gives you a lot of flexibility in the system. And then obviously there is a little LED, uh, uh, display here, which tells you the operation, tells you when the heat pump is running, uh, allows you have fault code lights. Um, so there's a lot of uh, information in this display panel to help the uh, contractor and the homeowner just know how their system's running. Another unique thing about this is we uh, allow the system to be ducted. Because we're absorbing energy from the room, um, we actually have cold air that comes out of this discharge line. And that can provide uh, dehumidifications in basements and actually condition the air around the heater. So by ducting it, you can actually take that air and put it in areas that you would like to, up to 15 feet away. We also have a uh, filter that's easy to just take out and clean uh, because we're drawing air and we're using that air to absorb the energy in the refrigerant loop. Um, what, what happens is over time sometimes dust and uh, things can get on the filter and it's just very easy to clean. You take it, wash it off and then you just slide it right back in and you're ready to go back in, ready to, ba uh, ready to start uh, the heater up again. Um, the design of the tank is very unique. Uh, the refrigerant loop 
what we're doing is we have windings on the outside of the tank. And the windings of the outside of the tank, when we're absorbing the energy from the room, and then the refrigerant will start to boil at a very low temperature, um, what happens is that heats up those coils, that it's wrapped around the, the tank, um, and that heats the interior of the tank. By having the heat, the heat exchanger exterior to the tank, you avoid any minerals, lime, things, things that can cause or cause problems long term with the effectiveness of the heat transfer. So the tank will be effective from day one for a long service period for the customer.